For the health system now, I hope that it begins to act. I understand and I hear that it's been really, over, in my view, overthinking a lot of the issues that have existed for a long, long time. And we really need to move forward. So in the future, I hope that we can move forward in a way that um, the health system, as it's evolving across Canada, brings decision-making closer to home, to the people that really know what's going on on the ground and what's needed to make improvements for the health of the people. From a First Nations perspective, I don't know if we've done much right. I, our health outcomes are poor. And so to say that the health system has done some things right in terms of a First Nations population, I think we're a population within the population that has been left behind. So I really can't say it's from that perspective, it's done a lot of things right. But I think what we have done right recently is recognize in British Columbia that it's better that First Nations start driving and leading the change that's needed to make the improvements in healthcare. The biggest opportunity, I really believe, is the provincial partnerships that need to exist. So once Health Canada is positioned in a way to help support First Nations folks with the ability to leverage the federal services that they currently operate out of Health Canada, to bring that to the table with the provincial government as a true partner is the opportunity, I think, so that the health services and programs that we have access to uh, provide a continuum of care from a First Nations holistic perspective that include the kinds of things we can do with the federal resources we get, but also the kinds of services we need from the provincial government in our communities and for our people across the province.